Johnson's had a career night. Does he have a game winning drive in him? Down the middle. Intercepted. Fourth pick of the night. Sean Lewis with the interception. John Lewis is a true freshman who Bill Young compares to the Miami Hurricanes great young linebacker Sean Spence. Young coach Spence there. This young man, a true freshman on a Thursday night coming up making a play. Gerard Johnson got greedy on this throw. There are eight players in coverage. He's trying to throw a deep in route and there were four black jerseys around his wide receiver Jeff Fuller. That's a throw Gerard Johnson would want to have back and now all of a sudden Oklahoma State knocking on the door close to field goal range. 16 seconds of career long for Dan Bailey of 51 yards. It means they don't need a lot. Whedon they're within that 51 range. The catch by Cooper. They're going to need to call the timeout. Craig, you go back and you talk about two-minute drive execution at the end of games, understanding when to throw balls away, understanding not to, when not to catch balls, understanding when not to force throws. I think now you're at a point, Jesse, where with one more play, you run it. If you like this hash, you run it up the middle. If you want to run to the middle, from wherever your kicker feels comfortable, that's where you take this football. As it sits right now, guys, it would be a 48-yard field goal. Kicker for the Colts. Dan Bailey is a senior from Mustang, Oklahoma. He's been around. Experienced guy, but still a nerve-wracking situation for any kicker. And Johnson, the turnover bug, biting him for the second straight game. The Aggies escaped it against Florida International. And now tonight, Oklahoma State have seconds away from a game-winning field goal attempt. Kendall Hunter. Pick up a few more yards. The Aggies might want to hold him up a little bit. Clock's still running now. They're going to have to get it quickly. <laughs> and Oklahoma State came a couple of ticks away from blowing that. Oh, man. Awareness again. Get on the Absolutely. ground. Yeah, well, you know what? He, he probably not expecting he's going to be able to push and carry a pile for three yards. Well, here you go, guys. When we, when we arrived at the stadium a few hours before the game, there was a lot of wind swirling around. I'm looking at the goalposts right now. Absolutely no movement. The wind has really died down. It made this kicking environment, this situation, much better for Dan Bailey with only two seconds remaining. Before the game, we wondered, see, not much wind on that end of the stadium. That's the west end, the rare east-west stadium as Brandon Whedon wants to let Bailey concentrate. It'll be a 41-yard field goal attempt. And keep an eye on Mike Sherman, and he'll try to ice the senior. We've seen some coaches wait even a little bit longer before. Flashing the timeout signal. So here it is, the opportunity for both of these teams to set a course to perhaps being a dark horse in the Big 12 South. Sherman trying to fire up his field goal block unit for a desperation block attempt. And in what was supposed to be a rebuilding year for Oklahoma State, this could be a pivotal win that really sets their season on a positive course if Bailey can knock through this 41-yard field goal. Gerard Johnson watching. The anticipation in the stadium. For the game. Oklahoma State wins it.
absolutely bedlam until the Cowboys play the Sooners, but there's a version of it on the field as Oklahoma State wins at 38-35. This was said and, con and considered a barometer game by both football teams and coaching staffs. Oak State just took the needle home with them. For a young team that had 16 guys start a game for the first time this season, very inexperienced, showed a lot of poise late, very opportunistic on defense to give themselves an opportunity to win this game. Mike Sherman, known in dismay as his team, gave up a 14-point lead. Gerard Johnson's turnovers were costly, the last one being most costly of them all. Let's go down on the field now with the winning head coach, Mike Gundy's with Jen Brown. Coach, momentum swing after momentum swing tonight into the game. You were down big, then you gave up a big lead. How were you guys able to pull off the win tonight? Well, we made a big play in the uh, defensive side of the ball, and uh, as a true freshman, intercepts the ball and runs it down, and then uh, Dan Bailey uh, uh, makes the field goal. They tried to ice him, so I'm really proud of our team for fighting back. A lot of mistakes, but we overcome it and find a way to win the game. Now your, your quarterback seemed to settle in there the second half. What were you most impressed about his play tonight? Well, he made the adjustments at halftime, and along with the offense, we played terrible in the first half, and we settled him down. We came up with the plan. He set his feet and made some better throws, and we had some guys break some tackles. So I'm really proud of them coming out and performing in the second half. Now, earlier this week, you told us that you weren't sure how good of a team you had. What do you think now after tonight's game? Well, I'm still not sure. Uh, I do know that I'm proud of them for the way they competed, being behind 14-0, and then again, what happened late in the game. We have a lot of room to improve, but I'm, I'm proud of these guys. There's a lot of young guys, and they're getting better and better. So, you know, what can you say? You find a way to win the game. All right, Coach, great job tonight. Thank you. And, Jen, on this night, Mike Gundy is the man, and he's got win number 40 in his Oklahoma State head coaching career. Here is our Wrangler five-star player of the game. It is Dan Bailey, the senior who came through with the 40-yard game-winning field goal to cap the Cowboys' fourth quarter rally. Texas A&M had over 500 yards of offense. They ran more than 100 plays, but the turnovers were devastating. Five turnovers from their quarterback, Gerard Johnson, and Bailey came through with the winner. Don't overestimate the impact this has off the field as well. These are two programs that go head-to-head -head in recruiting in the offseason. This is a big win for Oklahoma State in more ways than one. We opened the night saying that neither of these teams have been tested both certainly underwent some tests tonight and it is the homestanding Cowboys who come through in the end and with flying colors mostly the color orange 38 35 the final Oklahoma State beats Texas A&M Sports Center is next this has been a presentation of ESPN the worldwide leader in sports for Craig James Jesse Palmer Jen Brown and our entire Thursday night ESPN crew I'm Reese Davis saying good night after a great one in Stillwater Oklahoma